Out of bounds, Detroit Basketball! Pistons fans, what's up? It's your boy King, man, and I got a video for y'all. NBA draft, one day away. November 18th is on the horizon. <laughs> Tomorrow is the NBA draft. I will be doing my yearly NBA draft party, my live stream. So for all of my members, thank you so much for being members of my channel. And uh, we'll get the opportunity to see you strut your stuff in a live chat with your logos and your special emojis. And it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna throw in a few more emojis uh, today for the uh, Pistons. Uh, so you'll be able to use those for the members uh, to the channel. So this should, this should be fun. This should definitely be fun, man. What is Golden State going to do? Um, that's one big question. Uh, you know, obviously, what are we going to do? Are we going to trade up and be aggressive? Or are we going to be, you know, like a days ago as usually, uh, as usual? So um, a lot of questions, man. Who do we take? You know, we got some some options some options at point guard man a lot of people uh a lot of people want the same two that i said we should get which is you know mellow and and, and killian uh but there's there's other there's other talent out there and you never know what the pistons like in these players so um it's definitely going to be interesting man I, I they there's so many rumors out there it's still trade rumors on on the on deck so uh but there's so many rumors out there that you know, you just can't, you can't, you can't get a, a good idea of what the Pistons are thinking, man. You really can't. It is really mysterious what they're thinking of doing in this draft. Um, and that's fun. That's actually fun, man. It, it's it's good to have a pick that high and have options as the Detroit Pistons. Now, what do these players do for you? Um, LaMelo Ball does a lot for the Pistons, which makes me think they could possibly be aggressive and try to go after him. Number one, the kid wants to play here. Uh, you know, him, him, his father, they want him here. You know, it's, it's obvious he's been working out here in Detroit. Um, but what does he do, do for the franchise? Well, number one, he gives you a point guard. <laughs> um, he's a new age point guard with a lot of range. Um, you know, there was a lot of knocks coming out on, um, you know, certain players, man, in the league. Uh, little Trey was catching flack in Atlanta. Um, and then once he showed people that he fits in this league and the new systems that are ran in this league, all that went away. Well, this kid has range. Um, consistency as far as shooting three-pointers will get better. He's a kid. He's a kid, man. Um, and he acts his age, you know, the immaturity rumors out there. I mean, he is literally a kid. So, uh, but when you want to go for top picks, you want them to have that NBA mentality already, that maturity already. So that's understandable for a lot of GMs, but the Pistons need ticket sales, which brings me to that point. The Pistons need ticket sales. And that is the, the driving factor right there to me. Um, you know, you want to put some, some butts in seats when we do get back to fans being in an arena. LaMelo Ball, LaMelo Ball is your key. People want to see him play. Simple as that. He will fill some seats. You'll have more than 2,000 fans in Lil Caesars Arena. arena. Um, shout out to Mr. Ele Alexander, man. That is, uh, that is the personal agent of the top fans of the NBA send me a uh, invite um, for in-person games um, this season. So I will be doing that. Once I do go to the game, I'll be recording that like I do um, and give y'all the experience of what it's like going to a live game with COVID-19, still being on a brink. Um, they, they, will be, they will have us separated, small groups, uh, safe, you know, mask wearing and, and the whole nine. So I'll be able to record that and show y'all that type of experience. So if you are thinking about going to games in the future, uh, you will have an idea what it's gonna be like. So, uh, shout out to you, Mr. Alexander. Um, yeah, I'm ready for this draft. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'll, I'll be scrolling Twitter all day, looking for Woj, 
see if he has some updates, um, you know, on, on trade possibilities. The Pistons could still make a move before the draft. They can make a move to improve draft capital. Um, you know, if they can get Blake Griffin out of here, I would probably cry. <laughs> so, you know, with that being said, it is, it's very exciting right now to be a Pistons fan because of the possibility of young players that you can get in here. Something exciting to watch. Uh, not the same old crap we've been watching with these bad drafts of the past that we just had. You know, the Greg Monroe's, the Stanley Johnson's, man. Uh, the Luke Kennards over Donovan Mitchells and things like that, man. Uh, we got a chance to get somebody in here that's uh, has a high ceiling that can potentially turn into a star. Um, and we started that last year with Sekou Deboya. So let's keep that going. And, you know, like I said, I got a little bit of little bit of trust in, you know, the guys we got in the front office right now. Um, don't know what to say about the owner, but the guys in the front office, um, you know, I got a little bit of trust in them, man. They, you know, especially, you know, with Weaver's background, I really like, you know, um, our chances of picking the right guy. So it's going to be fun. Strap up. Um, get ready. Um, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Get y'all some dilly dillies. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Y'all be safe out there.